I got a smile. <laughs> I got a smile because, folks, folks, we're going to time travel. We're going to go back to January 6th. I know the year we, and the month, the day when democracy almost died. There was so much confusion that day because, my goodness, we didn't know if we were going to lose our democracy that day, right? That's at least what the corporate media wants to tell you. The Democrats want to tell you. But some newly released footage, fresh out the kitchen, shows Nancy Pelosi taking responsibility for the absence of <gasps> the National Guard. My goodness. But before we play that video, first of all, we're going to time travel even further. Because before we play that new video that just came out, I want to play a video of Donald Trump being interviewed by BSDNC, of course, about what happened on January 6th. And of course, he was blaming Nancy, Nancy Pelosi, the mama bear, AOC's mama bear, after all. So let's go ahead and pour, first play this video of Trump addressing this situation because it's important. And I'm going to play it in its full entirety for all of you to listen. By the way, on that day, Nancy Pelosi, I, I, I don't have, I, why would I tell you that? Listen, Nancy don't want to Pelosi talk about that. was in charge of security. She turned down 10,000 soldiers. If she didn't turn down the soldiers, you wouldn't have had January 6th. Did you call military or law enforcement? What? Did you call military or law enforcement at the moment the Capitol was under attack? I'm not going to tell you anything. I tell, okay. I, yeah, let me put it this way. I behaved so well. <laughs> I did such a good job. Nancy Pelosi turned down 10,000 soldiers. If she didn't do that. But and now Nancy I understand, Pelosi doesn't have I the understand that, that you the police testified against her. Listen to me, Kristen. Listen to me. I understand that the police testified against her, the chief very strongly against mm -hmm. her, Capitol Police, great people. They testified against her and they burned all the evidence. OK, they burned all the evidence. Mr. They President, destroyed all the evidence about Nancy Pelosi. What do you say to people who wonder why you you as commander in chief, you have authorities that Nancy Pelosi doesn't have? As no, no, she has authority. Over why the didn't Capitol. you send help? I know I said I played it in its full entirety, but I have to pause here because when Trump was saying this, so many people in corporate media and even those on social media were saying, oh, Trump's just p pushing the blame, pushing the blame. This new video that comes out is pure gold. And you wouldn't believe what would happen even just a few minutes later because Nancy Pelosi dropped everything to run to BSDNC. But hold on. We got one more minute, one more full minute of this. In that moment, though. Uh, frankly, just so you understand, I assume that she took care of it. She turned down. So when you realized that, that the National Guard wasn't coming? Well, when you, didn't, you don't realize anything until quite a while. National Guard not coming. I asked, I asked it to be there three days in advance and she turned it down she says that that request was never officially made oh just so it. you know L let, let me, me just tell you let me ask you the about mayor pardons, of D let me tell you. the mayor of dc gave us a letter saying that she turns it down okay we have it nancy pelosi also was asked and she turned it down the police commission i'm talking about Capitol the day police, wait a minute yeah capitol police said that he wanted it and Nancy Pelosi wouldn't accept it. She's responsible for January Let's, 6th. Mr. President. Nancy Pelosi is responsible. Mr. And President, the you're the president, though. You have, to you have authorities her. that no one else has as the commander in chief. Do you think you showed leadership on that? Yes, day? absolutely. I did. Okay. Now, everyone was real quick to make fun of Trump. Look, I get it. Trump says things. He's tweeted out things that has made me laugh or make fun of him. But, folks, I want to point out some things that were very important. And he's been consistent about this. Trump talked about the Hunter Biden laptop story to which corporate media and intelligence anal analysis people, you know, former intel agents said it was a Coca-Cola classic Russian disinformation act. Right. It was a good old tactic right from Russia. Turned out that story was true. Now, in that video that I played for all of you to see, all of you to hear. Trump put the blame on Nancy Pelosi, saying that Nancy Pelosi refused in her powers to send out the National Guard. Now, this video, huge shout out to Hotspot for uh, sharing this. 
It's only 41 seconds, but newly released footage reveals Nancy Pelosi taking responsibility for the absence of the National Guard at the Capitol on January 6th. So let's go ahead and play this video for all of you to see firsthand. We have responsibility, Terry. We did not have any accountability for what was going on. This Yo! We should have. This is ridiculous. You're going to ask me in the middle of the thing when they've already breached the the uh, inaugural stuff that that uh, uh, should we call the Capitol Police? I mean the uh, National Guard. Why weren't the National Guard there to begin with? They thought that they had sufficient. Resources. No, there's not a question of how they have been. They don't know. They clearly didn't know, and I take responsibility for not having them just prepare for war. What? What? <clears throat> Hold on. A what? A say that again, Nancy, for the people. Responsibility for not having them just prepare for war. We have. Oh my goodness! My goodness! My goodness! Sometimes I'm so glad to see all this wonderful stuff come out. Isn't it great seeing these jagoff politicians being called out for the hack frauds that they are? Hey, vote blue, no matter who. Hey, vote blue no matter who. Everyone, everyone, I'm pretty sure you might know a vote blue no matter who person. Call them up. Make sure they're okay. Because when that video came out, in pure desperation, in pure panic, which is absolutely pure gold and outstanding and delicious and hilarious to me, Nancy Pelosi got out of her wheelchair and did a super jump to BS DNC to defend her actions. And folks, this is the actions of someone who is not emotionally mature. 80 plus years old, and she's trying to hide up her crimes like a kid stealing a, a cookie out of the cookie jar. I hope all of you are, are sitting down enjoying this because this is who our politicians are. Nancy Pelosi is an avatar of Congress. We're ruled over by sick, weak, senile people. Why do you think this is stirred up and a brouhaha on the, on the right and in some corners of the media today? Well, because of the, uh, the fact is that the president of the United States, the former president, and his toadies do not want to face the facts. They're trying to do revisionist history on January 6th. But we cannot let us be uh, dragged into their, again, uh, false impression of what happened that day. They know what happened that day. They know how serious it is and was and continues to have an impact on our country. And yet they want to call the, the people who were in there um, hostages. Last night, I received the Lincoln Award. I was so proud of her. Oh, she deflected. She wants to talk about the Lincoln Award. She got an award. What'd you do to deserve an award, Nancy? Nancy, what'd you do? You know, I, I, I'm more interested in your drinking awards. Receiving that. And I said in my remarks, Lincoln built the dome on the Capitol. He insisted that it be built during the Civil War so that it could... Um, uh, show the resilience of America and to see these people coming through the Capitol with their foul deeds and foul actions, waving Confederate flags and Nazi flags under. Really? Really? Because, you know, there's been uh, a lot of interesting rumors, Nancy, a lot of stuff that's been revealed that there were FBI agents in the crowd, provocateurs, people purposely riling people up. You know, this whole talk about what happened on January 6th and, oh, my goodness, the Trump people stormed the Capitol. First of all, it was, a, it was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Number two, the Capitol Police opened up the doors and said, all right, come on in, people. Hell, I interviewed the shaman. You know the shaman? The guy with the bison hat and everything else? Folks, what happened on January 6th was nothing but a clown show and distraction. It wasn't the end of democracy or the end of the republic. It wasn't Julius Caesar crossing the Rubicon. It was just another dumb moment in history. 
But yet the Democrats are quick to capitalize on it because we got a lot of vote blue no matter who people that are easily triggered thinking that they're part of the resistance because they want to cosplay or pretend that they're a resistance fighter. Like I've always said, a lot of these liberals are not serious people. Lincoln's dome was so shameful. And yet this president who incited, this former president who incited this insurrection would not send the National Guard for hours. People were harmed. People were killed. But died one way or another. And what did he do but try to deny that any of it happened? This is a terrible thing. But let us not take away the attention of what we need to do to go forward. We have to unify our country. We have to bring people together in a way, in a way that honors the vision of our founders, the sacrifice of our men and women in uniform, as well as the aspirations of our children. I just came back from, uh, from D Day in Normandy, to see our veterans there, who, there was 80 year, the 80th anniversary of it. Yes, the 80th anniversary where Biden probably took a dump in his pants. <laughs> Biden had a D-Day of his own. A D-Day in his own to honor honor the event, right? And, and notice, she's not taking responsibility. She's deflecting. She's in full-on panic because... There's now this video, and I'm going to play it again one more time, of her saying, I take responsibility. Remember when all those celebrities did that whole thing for Black Lives Matter? I take responsibility. I take responsibility. I take responsibility. I take responsibility. Well, Nancy, that video that came out said you take responsibility, but did she ever once address anything? See, this is a guilty person. How can you tell who a gu guilty person is? They keep on talking and talking and talking, deflecting, trying to change the conversation. Oh, she got a Lincoln Award. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Great. A Lincoln Award or a Lincoln Log? Are you getting seen now? Because maybe, I don't know, she took a dump in the toilet, picked it up and said, look, look, I got a Lincoln Award. Okay, may maybe I'm being too mean. Okay, maybe I'm being too mean to these old politicians. But you know what? When you see something or a person constantly lying or presenting a false narrative, you're going to lose your patience. And then here's Nancy talking about Lincoln's Dome, which is kind of odd. <laughs> no pun intended. And then she starts saying about how the January Sixers were doing such terrible things. My goodness. It's a shame that building will never be able to recover. It was burnt to the ground. But, oh, wait, it's right behind her. It's right behind her. It's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing else happened. It was a complete waste of time. But yet Nancy is quick to say, oh, look, 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 look at what we're doing. And then she decides to talk about the 80th anniversary of D-Day. Hey, Nancy, how come how come there's a, a large homeless uh, population amongst veterans? Right. You, you, you don't you don't seem to care too much about veterans. I mean, hell, you're 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 you're, you're no spring chicken. Right. But the way Congress treats all of its citizens, including its veterans, is downright deplorable. But she's deflecting because she does want to be held accountable. Operations of our children. I just came back from uh, from V Day in Normandy to see our veterans there. Who there was eighty year the eightieth anniversary of yeah. it. Some of the youngest of them were ninety seven. <laughs> some over a hundred. They fought for our freedom, and yet you see what how it is being. Uh, uh, denigrated by the former president and his Republican toadies. To quote Joe Rogan, what's a toady? What's a toady? What's a toady? You know what? Hey, we're going to have fun time. Hey, because who, who says, who says you can't learn something here? Toady. Toady. Definition. Let's go ahead and read from the big book of words, the dictionary. All right, so let's go and check it out. A toady. What, what is a toady? A person who praises and is artificially pleasant to people in, in authority, usually in order to get some advantage from them. Everywhere he goes, he is surrounded by an entourage of toadies. Hmm. Gee, you're projecting that onto Donald Trump. Wait a minute. I've seen plenty of toadies for Democrats too, Nancy. You're no saint. But wait. Let's go ahead, because this is the video right here, right here, right now, for all of you to see, that caused Nancy Pelosi to panic and go to BSDNC, I mean MSNBC. 
And she's taking full responsibility. This was her on January 6th. Here, in case you missed it or just tuning in right now. We have responsibility, Terry. We did not have any accountability for what was going on there. And we should have. This is ridiculous. You're going to ask me in the middle of the thing when they've already breached the the, the inaugural stuff that that, uh, uh, should we call the Capitol Police? I mean, the uh, National Guard? Why weren't the National Guard there to begin with? They thought that they had sufficient resources. No, there's not a question of how they had been. They don't know. They clearly didn't know, and I take responsibility for not having them just prepare for more. We have... Yeah. She took responsibility. We have to take responsibility, Terry. Who's Terry? But what I want to know is... <clears throat> How did this delicious video get out? That's what I want to know. Responsibility, Terry. We did not have any accountability for what was going on there, and we should have. This is ridiculous. You're going to ask me in the middle of the thing when they've already breached the, the, the inaugural stuff that, that uh, uh, should we call the Capitol Police? I mean, the uh, National Guard? Why weren't the National Guard there to begin with? They thought that they had sufficient resources. No, there's not a question of how they had been. They don't know. They clearly didn't know, and I take responsibility for not having them. They clearly didn't know, and I take responsibility. They clearly didn't know, and I take responsibility for not having them. Just Ah, you take responsibility. But in that quick rush to BSDNC, she had to cover herself. Because the truth is out there now. I mean, the internet is such a powerful tool. You cannot deny its its influence over people. Nancy, Nancy Pelosi, you were caught with your pants down. This isn't the first time she's been humiliated like this. But Democrats, I, I think all of you seem to get off on being made fun of, being called out for the frauds that you are. Folks, folks, January 6th. It was it was one big nothing burger, just a blip on the radar. And that's all what it'll ever be. Just a blip. Nothing more, nothing less.